Hi my dear students, welcome back to my class. Ivatina session ali carbon and its compounds target 7 on 7 na part 3 and the last video na post to Martaivini. So carbon and its compounds part 1 and part 2. I hope you all have found useful. So yar a videos in a nodilla nimgoskara adana and description box nali link na koda post part ni part one and part two along with the part three are very important to get seven out of seven. Carbon and its compounds and the hail daga usually idali nimge molecular formulas keltare, structural formulas, electron dot structural formula. So idinella hege bariodu and the previous videos nali I had explained you. So, adhana bit to nimge in the theory part and the hail daga there are few concepts which are very very important without fail you must learn. So, adhrali e version nimge skip paagiru anta on the concept bandhu properties of ethanol and ethanoic acid. So, remaining yaudhu idhe. So, pending nibu focus maad bhe kaagiru wa pending topic bandhu combustion. So, combustion na na nibu kalth kod bheku and then oxidation. Oxidation and a concept, combustion, oxidation and addition reaction, addition reaction. So then substitution, substitution, addition, substitution, okay, substitution and soaps and detergents, soaps and detergents. So, conversion, oxidation, addition reaction, substitution reaction, soaps and detergents. So, even the concept may frequent agi questions kailthir thare. So, previous and exam and look kuda, board exams ali, they had asked 5 marks question. So, yaad iti question kailthir thare ondre, explain the conversion and substitution reaction by taking methane as an example in the kailthir thare. Very simple. So, yein alli nimge swalpa confuse ago on the topic kotti di dhondre. Conversion and substitution reaction anna explain maadveku. But you have to take the methane as an example. That was the little bit twist which was given. Actually, the twist day alla. Yake endre, conversion mathe substitution yeradalu koda chemical equation. Andre, methane in the shuru ago on the chemical equation idhe. So, by taking that particular equation, into the mind they had given to explain the conversion and substitution reaction as day. So it was so simple. Five marks gini vein marbe kitandre, conversion andre enu, substitution andre enu, just write the definition. And apart from that, iradralu kuda iruvanta on the chemical equation and a baribe kitu. Okay. And one more question was also added over there. Four mark ki even the concept in a kailidru. Now, apart from that, soaps and detergents scale there tare, cleansing action of soaps scale there tare, atwa how do missiles are formed, atwa what is the difference between soaps and detergents, so e riti scale there tare. So, all these concepts are very important. In addition reaction ke bandaga, so they may ask what is mean by addition reaction or hydrogenation, okay, so both are having same answer. In moving to oxidation andaga, three types of question ke bodu. So, what is meant by oxidation reaction or how can we convert the ethanol into ethanoic acid or how can we convert the alcohol into uh, carboxylic acid? So, one day when the concept in the, the way of asking questions will be different but the answer remains same and the way of writing the answer should be a little bit modified. So, is to concept in any artha markundre. So, you will definitely get 7 out of 7 from the lesson carbon and its compounds. Okay. So, ni me get detailed explanation be kundre. Combustion, oxidation, addition, substitution and soaps and detergents. Animated video. So, with the images nanu description ala hakirtini with the detailed explanation of each and every concept. Okay, so yaru concept ne ivatvargu artha markond illa no day illa concept gotte illa nauru. Please go through those links. Each video is only of 5 to 6 minutes. So first concept in the artha markundi, then you can come back to the revision. Okay, ide video na matte niu note bahu. So that make you to understand much better and much easier. Okay, so ika simple agi hello dandre. What is meant by conversion? See, com carbon compound in all its allotropic form, they burns in the oxygen. They burns in the presence of oxygen 
to give carbon dioxide water heat and light heat plus light so this is what we call it as combustion see let me give you one example carbon when it burns with the oxygen it gives rise to carbon dioxide okay so carbon dioxide along with the heat plus light heat plus light are you getting my point yes see all the carbon compounds in its allotropic form they burn in the presence of oxygen presence of oxygen en enagutte burn agutte burn agi en kodutte ee ondu product na kodutte ee ondu product na release madutte so that is what we call it as combustion we call it as combustion okay so moving to oxidation reaction as i told you they may ask you how to convert the alcohol to carboxylic acid ethanol to ethanoic acid again all it comes under oxidation you can just write one equation to get full marks also so those who are struggling to write the entire definition e equation ana bariri let me tell you how the alcohol is converted into carboxylic acid let us take ethanol c2h5oh c2h5oh is eth eth andre c there will be two carbon atoms okay ethanol is converted into ethanoic acid ch3 cooh ethanoic acid in the presence of a strong oxidizing agent okay here the oxidizing agent is very very important okay so you have to write either acidified k2 cr2 o7 that means dichromate potassium dichromate or alkaline kmno4 that means potassium permanganate you must know this how to write see see ethanol is converted into ethanoic acid ethanol en aagta ide ethanoic acid agi convert aagtide in the presence of a strong oxidizing agent that is why it is oxidation oxidizing agent examally either you can write acidified k2cr2o7 andre potassium dichromate or you can write alkaline kmno4 okay so this completes your oxidation explanation very simple okay moving to addition reaction so addition means we are adding something so what are we going to add here so we are adding the hydrogen okay so here addition reaction takes place two unsaturated hydrocarbons so only unsaturated hydrocarbons undergo addition reaction keep it in mind only unsaturated hydrocarbons undergo addition reaction why because see unsaturated hydrocarbons let me write unsaturated hydrocarbons in simple way okay so when we add hydrogen to this in the presence of nickel as a catalyst we get saturated hydrocarbon very simple it's a very simple topic see we are adding hydrogen to unsaturated hydrocarbon in the presence of nickel nickel as a catalyst nickel anodu illi ondu catalyst agide it's a catalyst okay so again martidira hydrogen na unsaturated ge add martidira yenike to get the saturated very very simple addition of hydrogen to unsaturated hydrocarbon in the presence of nickel as a catalyst to get saturated hydrocarbon very simple so you can write like this and remember easiest way easiest way of remembering okay so now moving to substitution see once again i am reminding if you had not at all learnt this concepts at your school go through the links given in the description for the detailed explanation of it if you watch that and come back and listen to this you will feel very easy okay the concept is very easy because ya ke andre science alli as i told you only one topic for the one topic you may get different types of question so you must be thorough with the concept okay yes so now let us move towards substitution reaction so substitution reaction substitution substitution reaction see in substitution reaction chlorine is added to hydrocarbon see we have a hydrocarbon we have a hydrocarbon so for this 
we are adding chlorine so what happens here is chlorine will substitute the hydrogen from this hydrocarbon okay in the presence of sunlight in the presence of sunlight see for example ch4 ch4 is our hydrocarbon that is methane okay so for methane i am adding the chlorine when chlorine is added okay to the methane what happen you know chlorine will substitute the hydrogen chlorine is substituting the hydrogen present in the methane so what is the product ch3cl will be the product chlorine is substituting the hydrogen atom one by one i repeat once again chlorine is substituting the hydrogen one by one so that is why it is called as substitution reaction and this happens in the presence of sunlight and it is a fast reaction substitution reaction is a fast reaction okay so and we have hcl in the product side i repeat once again in substitution reaction what happens you know chlorine will be added to hydrocarbon please keep it in mind chlorine is added to hydrocarbon so chlorine en maartta ide chlorine is replacing the hydrogen atom one by one chlorine is replacing the hydrogen atom one by one so we get ch3cl here along with the hcl so this is how we have to write the equation to represent the substitution reaction clear so now left out with the last concept that is the soaps and detergents so i will explain the soaps and detergents concept point wise a short point wise so you can remember it easily okay so now soaps and detergents okay soaps and detergents you must be ready to answer what are soaps what are detergents okay what is the difference between soaps and detergent you should know what is meant by soaps soaps are the sodium or potassium salts of long chain of fatty acids whereas detergents detergents are sodium salts of sulfonic acids or the ammonium salts of chlorides or bromide and you must also know soaps works well only with soft water soaps work only well with the soft water whereas detergents work well with both hard and soft water both hard and soft water so that is the reason by using the detergents by using the detergents we cannot find out the whether the water is hard or soft detergents na use maadkondu water hard or soft anta find out madakke agalla yake inda detergent soft water jothegu react madutte chanagi hard water jothegu react madutte soap only react well with the soft water soap enadru hard water jothege react aadre it will form the precipitate white precipitate adanna navu scrum anta karithivi scrum scrum anta karithivi got it so now let us focus towards the cleansing action of soap cleansing action of soap anta heldaga you must know see soap has two ends soap has two ends so this is the first end now let us take this is the second end so this end is called as ionic end it is called as ionic end and this end is called as hydrocarbon end hydrocarbon end i repeat once again soap has two ends so one is ionic end and one more one more is the hydrocarbon end what happens you know you have to write the same thing in point so first one is ionic end ionic end is a hydrophilic yake idu hydrophilic andre ee ionic end enagutte water karage focus madutte hydro andre water philic andre love so it is focusing towards the water yavudu ionic end second end bandu hydrocarbon end hydrocarbon end is hydrophobic idu hydrophobic agide idu yake hydrophobic andre hydro andre water phobia andre bhaya okay scare okay so idu water in the away irutte it is focusing towards the oil or dirt not towards the water 
I repeat once again. See, soap is having two ends. One is ionic end and one more is hydrocarbon end. Ionic end is hydrophilic. And this is the water focus because it is having attraction towards the water. Hydrocarbon end is hydrophobic. This is having scarcity towards the water. So, it water and bhaya. So, it will be away from the water. So, when we put the soap to the bucket of water which containing the oily or dirty clothes. So, this is the cloth, oil or dirt. Soap na haki di andre. What happens, you know? It has two ends now. You can observe. So, two ends e na agate. E reeti. One the structure na form madate. So, you, I'll tell you once again. You can observe here. So, e na itu soap ki two ends itu. Soap has two ends. So, e na akti the hydrocarbon end oil atwa dirt ke dage focus akti the. Ionic end e na akti the. Bucket a little on the water, water kada ge focus akti I repeat, ionic end is focusing towards the water, hydrocarbon end is focusing towards the oil or dirt. Thereby, it forms a structure, this type of structure, we call this structure as a missile. Idana now missile anta karithi vi. Write this as a third point. So, what happened here is, here, hydro carbon and attaches to oil or dirt ionic and you can write focus focus to words water okay and forms missile it form a structure called Missile, I write it. See, it forms a structure called as missile. Okay, hydrocarbon end attaches to oil or dirt, ionic end focus towards the water. It forms a structure called missile. Examine how do missiles are formed? Same three steps you have tried. Cleansing action of soap kelthre in more structure. What is the fourth one? Fourth one is See, after the formation of missile, it is a missile form. So, now when we scrub the cloth, when we agitate the cloth, the oil or dirt will be removed from the cloth. So, this is what we call it as cleansing action of soap. Firstly, I will revise. So, soap has two ends. One is ionic end, always focusing towards water because it is hydrophilic. Then hydrocarbon end, it is always focusing towards the oil or dirt because it is hydrophobic. Okay, so ionic end is hydrophilic, hydrocarbon end is hydrophobic, philic and the love towards water. Okay, so when soap is dissolved in the bucket of water which contains the dirty cloths, so hydrocarbon end attached to oil, ionic end will focus towards water, it forms a structure called as missile. I have written the same thing here. So when we agitate the cloths, what happens? When we brush the cloths, the oil or dirt will be removed. This is the cleansing action of soap. Clear? So detergents, um, the definition also I have told. Detergents are sodium salts of sulfonic acid or the ammonium salts of chlorides or bromides. So soaps work well with the soft water only whereas the detergents work well with the both hard water and soft water. They form lather, no right? They form lather. Soap, when it reacts with the hard water, it will not form lather. Only with soft water, it will form lather. Okay, otherwise, it will form scrum. Students, is to na complete agi kalth kondre yava prashni antru keli e ondo lesson ali definitely you can answer. Okay, hope you found this session was completely useful. If you find this session is useful, kindly share with your friends. Okay, so. Uh, examination dates are being postponed. Don't be demotivated. You have to continuously determine, dedicate and focus towards your studies. So if examinations is there or not, that is secondary, but you have to continuously study because knowledge will never go for waste. Thank you so much for watching. Don't go anywhere out of your house. Be safe at home.